What is up everybody? Today I'm going to talk about YouTube. I don't really talk about YouTube that much because uh, I feel like my channel uh, is a lot about the story and um, so kind of I feel like talking about uh, subscribers and um, monetization tactics and you know view counts and things like that that it it kind of distracts from the actual story that I'm trying to tell with the videos that I make and this is really something I never really I've never really talked about even you know my subscriber count and and always when I reach a certain like uh, point uh, people always ask in the comments are you gonna have a uh, 1,000 subscriber like video or you're gonna have a 2,000 or you know and now it's now it's uh, now it's 4,000 and um, and I don't ever kind of mention that on the channel because um, I don't know somehow like talking about YouTube it's it's in a way for, for me it's missing the point of what I'm trying to do a little bit of history uh, I started uh, YouTubing because I was making videos uh, for my family back home in the States after I moved to Finland and um, the easiest way to send them the videos was by iMessage and so I was just you know made them and I'd somehow get them over to my phone and then I would message them to my my parents and my friends and and you know like a, this is what's going on over here and then and then I started you know making them better and spending more time on them and then i would be i messaging these like massive file sizes and they would come through all crappy and and it was just not the way to do it so i started putting them on youtube and just you know sending out the link and for the whole first year of being on youtube uh i had less than 20 subscribers and um that was like for me 20 subscribers was like having a room with 20 people in it who cared enough about what I was making that they wanted to see it on a regular basis. And that meant a lot to me. 20 subscribers would like, I kind of saw it that way. And, um, you know, now it blows me away that there's 4,000. Um, I've actually hit 4,000 subscribers five times because it's gone over and then under and then over and then I've lost a few and it's gone under. So like, yeah, for me, YouTube is a tool. It's only a tool and to make the videos about youtube which while that's okay uh for me it's it's making it about the tool it's like if i hand you a hammer and then you don't have anything to build but you're like well now what can i hit and it's kind of it's kind of the same i feel with youtube that that you know we have this tool we have this this thing that we can uh, make videos and share them with the world but it shouldn't be about the tool it should be about the story that you're trying to tell and that's a tool to get it to the world um, I just believe that uh, the story is always the thing not YouTube and so that's why I never talk about YouTube I will probably never be a full-time youtuber um, I don't I don't really want that actually um, I enjoy living my life the way that I live it and I enjoy my work uh, I have a great job and I have great co-workers and colleagues and um, I I appreciate that I get to share that on YouTube with uh, you know many people that there's there's people who are actually interested in what I do for work that's really great that there are youtubers out there who are full-time and that they are pursuing that full-time and that's like that's awesome if you can do that and that's your dream and that's your passion but it's just not mine I do want to talk about monetization though um, although I say that I never will probably be a full-time youtuber I do monetize my video let's talk about music and how that works with monetization because a lot of people ask me it's the main question I get is your music in that you use in your videos is is so good and how do you get around the 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 copyright issues for that uh, the way that YouTube monetizes uh, videos or how it how it handles other people's music uh, is that 
if the artist of the song has registered their music with YouTube, uh, YouTube detects that in your video when it's uploaded. And uh, that artist either has the option to, to say that all the monetization, all the, the ad revenue comes to them if you use their song, or they can even say that they're gonna block it so that your video can be shown or they're gonna mute it, or they're going to uh, keep it from being shown on mobile devices. There's all kinds of limitations that they can set. The music that I use in my videos is uh, it's basically like the soundtrack to my life. Uh, it's what I'm listening to in, you know, in my headphones every day. Uh, what you hear is what I, it's the music that I love. Um, I, I'm not knocking using, um, you know, stock music, uh, stuff that can be fully monetized. You know, some of that's really good stuff. But I feel like kind of the videos that I make and the, the, the story that I'm trying to tell, I want it to be like a full experience. You know, the stuff that I'm hearing, the stuff that I'm listening to while I'm doing my everyday life, uh, while I'm riding my bike, the stuff that's playing in my headphones, that's what I want the audience or the, the viewer to experience and it doesn't really matter to me if I'm not able to collect ad revenue from the music. I will never sacrifice the mood that I want the, the viewer to feel for ad revenue and that's just a choice that I've made and uh, some of my videos are monetized and some of the, the ad revenue does come to me but a lot of it doesn't, and a lot of it goes to the artists of the song, but I choose, I make those choices because I want, it's my creation. I want it to be perfect. I want it to be what I've made, and I don't want it to be limited by, can I monetize with this music or not? And as I said, I have total, total respect for YouTubers and uh, vloggers and, you know, content creators that do it completely different from me and have different goals and I don't at all say that that's wrong. I just say that this is this is the direction that I'm going and I want to explain it because I never really talk about this stuff and I never really talk about my approach and my motivation for being here on YouTube. But this is it. So if you like this, which I, this is something I never do, but if you like this, press the like button. If you don't like this video, if you disagree with everything I said, press the dislike button. And, and if everybody presses the dislike button and unsubscribes, then that's that. I'm still gonna make videos and my mom and dad are still gonna watch them on Saturday mornings, I hope. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> Okay, but that's it. That's my kind of view on YouTube. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. YouTube is a tool. To me, YouTube is just a tool, and I wanted to put that out there. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.